It's Tuesday the 10th of September 2019 and I'm at Rye in East Sussex to do a circular seven mile walk. Makes a change from long distance footpath. The walk goes over this level crossing over the Ashford to Hastings railway line. After the level crossing, the walk bears right up this narrow paved footpath. The paved path continues along an embankment. At this point, we turn left off the tarmac path along this footpath. The path follows the River Tillingham with great views. We've now got a stiff climb coming up. Hopefully we'll get some views at the top. Near the top there are great views, the River Tillingham in the foreground and over there Behind the pole is Rye. And the path continues to climb. Now at the top, here's the view. Great view of Rye over there. Even in the countryside there are cameras watching you. And the path from the top continues up here. After crossing a driveway, the walk continues ahead along this path. After a bit of a convoluted route near a farm, the walk continues along this track. A few yards on from the last clip, we continue along this sunken way ahead. Just diverted off the track for a few yards to get this fantastic view ahead and to the right. The sunken way continues, this path would not be much fun if it was very muddy, as it's quite awkward. The route continues between fields. The route description of this walk leaves something to be desired, I'm having a few problems. The path starts to go uphill towards the A268 road. At least this part is not quite so overgrown. And over to the right there's a great view. And there's the path still going uphill. Further on over to the left there are views. And there's the fairly rough path continuing. Now at the A268 where we turn left for a few yards and then right along a path. Now on the path leading away from the A268, this was completely unmarked on the road and the route description was hopeless. It's almost a fluke that I found it. The path continues beside this fence. Over to the left, I think that's Ty's Wood. Now we have to go steeply downhill and up again by the look of it. We cross this stile and follow the path ahead across that field. 
and over, well, behind me, the way I've come, there's a fantastic view. Next, we cross this bridleway, cross the stile ahead, and continue. The path leads across fields, heading for the village of Aydin. Now passing All Saints Church, Aydin. Now in the centre of Aydin village. Now passing the Bell at Aydin pub. And we take that road off to the left. Now on a footpath leading away from Aydin village. Footpath markers and the path continues beside that hedge. Heading towards a small road along the edge of this field. Now at the road, Houghton Lane, we cross and take that track ahead. We now turn off the wide track along this narrow footpath. We're heading down towards the River Rother, which we'll f we will follow back into Rye. This is another quite awkward path. It's descending steeply and going over several footbridges. You can see one ahead there. Steps leading steeply down. If you come this way, take care. Still descending, hopefully not much more to go. Difficult parts over. We're heading along that concrete drive to the road ahead. After crossing the road, the walk crosses this bridge over the rother. I'm going to turn right at the end of the bridge, beside the river, all the way back into Rye. Now heading on the path beside the rother. This is also part of the Saxon Shoreway long distance footpath and the whole of Saxon Shoreway walks along the entire long distance footpath are on my channel. This is also part of the route of the Sussex border path as you can see and we need to go along the edge of that field beside the fence, continuing beside the river rother. Apparently you're facing all these dire consequences if you follow this path and there it is. Still beside the rother, the path is a bit rough in this area. This is where the Union Channel enters the River Rother, as you can see there, we continue through that gate and the weather seems to be deteriorating a bit, wind is picking up. As you can see the Rother is now tidal. This is where the Ashford to Hastings Railway crosses the Rother. Now on the outskirts of Rye, there's the bridge that carries the A259 across the river. I'm going to cross that bridge and leave the river at this point. Told you we were on Saxon Shoreway. We now go along this metalled path. This is on the other side of the river. I've just passed by the Yeeps Tower. It dates from the middle of the 13th century. And 
we're about to pass the Church of St. Mary of the Virgin Rye. We're going up there. Now walking through Rye, heading to the station and the end of the walk. Now back at Rye Railway Station and the end of today's seven mile circular walk from Rye.